linear equations in two variables. A linear equation with two variables is something that can be written like y equals mx plus b, or it could be written as ax plus by equals c. The b here is not the same as the b there. Notice that this is a lowercase b, that is an uppercase b. That means that they're two different ideas. So most of the time you're going to be seeing them either written as y equals mx plus b or ax plus by equals c. There are other formats that you can see them written in, such as y minus y1 equals m open parentheses x minus x1 close parentheses. Or you may see it written as ax plus by plus c equals zero. So if you took algebra in high school, you are familiar with this. This is the point slope equation. This is the slope intercept equation. And those are the general and standard forms. So I don't typically use the point slope or this other form here. So I'm not going to worry about them too much. Most of the time I'm going to be using y equals mx plus b, the slope intercept form, or the ax plus b y equals c format, which is what your computer homework wants you to answer things in most of the time. So what makes this an equation, a linear equation, in two variables? Well, one of the things is that it has two variables. The m and the b, those are going to be given to you as numbers. The a, the b, and the c, those are given to you as numbers. But the x and the y, those will be your variables. So that is what the two variables means. Why is it linear? Well, it's linear because when you draw it on a graph, it makes a straight line. Whether that line is going to go up or if the line is going to go down, either way, it's going to make a straight line. That makes it linear. Now, by looking at them, how would you know whether it's linear or not? Well, one way is you could actually graph it. Another way is you can watch out for certain features, such as a square root symbol with your variable under the umbrella of that square root symbol. If you're one of your variables is in the denominator of a fraction, then that means that it will not be linear. Or if you have an exponent on your variable, that also means not linear. So those three ways are ways that you can tell that this is not going to be linear. Those are the most common ones that you're going to come across at this level of math. There will be others that will show up later, but right now we're only going to focus on these. So looking at our examples down here, I look at my equation and I say, first off, does it look like y equals mx plus b? No. Does it look like ax plus by equals c? No. So can I make it look like one of those two? Yes. I'm going to add my 6y over to the other side of the equal sign. 
Now I have negative 7x plus 6y equals negative 3. So just by adding that 6y over, now I have ax plus by equals c. Same thing that I have up there. So now I can tell that this one is, yes, this is linear. Going to my bottom example down here. 3x squared plus 6y equals negative 1. So I told you three things to look out for that will tell you that it's not linear. So on first glance, I'm going to look at this. Does it look like y equals mx plus b? No. Does it look like ax squared plus by equals c? Very close to it. It has the 3x, so that would be like the ax, plus the 6y, that would be your by, equals c. Very close to it. Problem, though. There is this exponent right here. That exponent is telling me that this equation is not linear. No, it is not linear. Looking over at the next one, 3x equals 9y. So does this look like that? Not quite, no. Does it look like that? No, but I could use the same method that I did over here to make it look like that, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to subtract by 9y over. So now I have 3x minus 9y equals 9 minus 9 is 0, so 9y minus 9y is 0. So now I can identify that a is 3, b is negative 9, and c is 0. And that does look like that. There's nothing extra, there's nothing missing. So yes, this one is linear. Looking down at this one, y equals negative 3. Doesn't look like that, doesn't look like that. Can I make it look like either of these two? Well, this has an x in it. That has an x in it. This does not have an x in it. So the problem with this one, it doesn't have two variables. So my answer here is no. It's not linear. And the reason for it is because it's, it has only one variable. So no, it's not linear in two variables. Last two. y equals 1 over x. So I told you to watch out for certain three, three certain things, radical signs, fractions with the variable in the denominator, and exponents. Well, this is fraction with the variable in the denominator. So no, that is not linear. Similar with this one, I told you to watch out for the variable under the square root symbol. This has the variable under the square root symbol, so no, this one is not linear. Now 
Now I have all three, all six answers. My problems are done.